Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solutions. Myself Ashwin and I work as a technical consultant at BISP Solutions. BISP Solutions is a tech company and provide technological solutions across the world. Now in this video, this is our another video in our integration series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to extract some specific information. For example, there is a requirement take two scenarios. Manager wants to see how many sales orders remaining to be fulfilled or the manager wants to see the customers with open sales orders. Now this type of requirement. So many times we need only information. For example, those employees who are not working with NetSuite, they just need the information in an Excel sheet. That's it. So because there might be any type of requirement that Excel sheet needs to be verified by some other person. So instead of giving them every person credentials, it is better to do this practice that what we do here, we connect Excel sheet with NetSuite and we provide a button in Excel sheet. When that button is hit, one Python command is run and that Python command fetch the information and put that information into the Excel sheet. Now here two developers are needed. One is Python developer and another is NetSuite developer, right? So many times it's required that we need to fetch the data and show it into the Excel sheet. So there are some configurations that we need to do. One is Python should be installed on your system. All the necessary libraries should be installed. Reset, restlet link. This is the task of NetSuite developer and the Excel sheet. Clear. Now, give me, let me show you with some example, right? Now, now see here. I will show you with some practical work. Let's see here. This is the Excel sheet. Okay. Now here, this is the Excel sheet, which is connected with NetSuite, right? Right now it's empty and we need all the customer with total sales orders and amount. So here I have created one saved search. See here, right? This saved search shows all the customer names count of total number of sales order associated with them and some of the amount. That means suppose this, let's take an example here. If I show you this CUS customer 1147, it is having 100 sales order, sales orders associated with it. So this is the saved search that we have created. Now one employee or the sales rep or the manager, he wants this information to be fetched into the Excel sheet. He does not want to enter into the net suite and he has not received that type of information or the training, right? So what we will do, we will provide C here, 176 records are there. So what we have done here, we have just connected this Excel sheet with net suite. How it is connected, I will show you. Now, we will hit this button customer. Yes. Now I have clicked on this immediately command prompt open. Now in this command prompt, one Python command will run right now. Python command is running in the background and that Python command has started the process of fetching the information from that uh, net suite restlet, right? So step-by-step -step procedure, I will show you what is the step-by-step -step procedure. First of all, this button is hit. Then this command prompt is open. And after that command prompt, one backend command of Python is executed. Now, where is that by backend command? Let me go to developer part. Here is visual basic, right? This is the command here. We have given the Python path where the attack particular X exe file is stored, right? So this is a simple visual basic code after that, after that that Python will fetch the data from restlet. So where is that restlet? Let's open one uh, the restlet that we have created. Here is scripting and then I go to restlet. Just a sec, give me a second. Here it is. Now this restlet is created. And here if I go to edit, See here, same saved one saved search is written here, and that saved search 
is pulling the data now we are what we are sending we are sending total am, total sales orders right amount and the customer name if you see this excel sheet total number of sales order amount and customer in the same sequence we have written right after that this data is fetched now this data is fetched and i think it is populated now see here it is in the order right alphabetic order okay so now if i see the count you can see here the count is 176 you can see here 176 count in the bottom right side of the excel sheet and 176 and same thing you can see here 176 total right so this what this information says that this particular customer 1218 satyam limited it is having 50 sales order which are open right and the amount of those particular sales order is 38019 so now this excel sheet can be given to anyone because there because simply giving credentials to every each and every person is not feasible those who need only information for the for those person we can use this technique connecting the excel sheet with netsuite and then just giving them the netsuite uh, excel sheet copy and that's it we just need to do only this much only right now this excel sheet can be used for either a, a data validation or data cross checking cross verification anything that they need that is up to them so this is how the, the requirement comes in a live project this is a very common requirement because in a company not all the people are technically sound only few people are technically sound but the remaining all those who are from uh, marketing background or we can say the accounts background they just need very easy process they don't need that uh, opening the credentials and then logging into the netsuite and then going to the navigation it's very difficult for them so that's why this is a very simple technique that provide them the excel sheet and they can make use of it so guys i recommend you to uh, practice this because this is a very uh, frequent requirement that arises in a live project and if you face any difficulty then you can uh, put your queries in your the comment box i will resolve them and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe my channel for further videos and i also recommend you to watch my previous videos also thank you guys thanks for watching the video